Obama administration is playing defense after its negotiations to free soldier Bo Bergdahl. Eleven News reporter Hallie Jackson live in our Washington bureau this morning with new questions and other new developments. Hallie. Good morning, Jason. A senior U.S. official says Sergeant Bo Bergdahl is telling the people treating him that he was tortured, held in a cage, and beaten during his time in Taliban captivity nearly five years. Bergdahl right now is at a hospital in Germany, Jason, but here at home, questions persist about whether the U.S. paid too high a price to set Bergdahl free. Secretary of State John Kerry is fiercely defending the prisoner swap that got Bergdahl home. Listen to what he had to say yesterday. It would have been offensive and incomprehensible to consciously leave an American behind, no matter what, to leave an American behind in the hands of uh, people who had torture him, cut off his head, do any number of things. Some lawmakers, though, worry that the five prisoners released from Guantanamo Bay in exchange for Bergdahl's freedom, Jason, will rejoin the fight with the Taliban, potentially putting American troops at risk. Wow. Well, how about Bergdahl? How about his condition right now? What may be next for him? So military doctors say even though he's physically able to travel, emotionally he's not yet ready to reunite with his family. He hasn't spoken with them yet. Uh, Bergdahl is at a military hospital, a U.S. hospital in Germany, going through what's called reintegration. And that process of kind of readjusting can take anywhere from five days to three weeks. When doctors think Bergdahl is ready for the next phase, He'll be transported to the Army Medical Center in San Antonio, Texas. All right, Hallie Jackson, live in our Washington bureau this morning. Thank you.